Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2023 and for 2024 I'm giving the uh, award for the mainline producer with the most innovation to Bursner. I'm going to start off with this thing here um, uh, which is a tiny car it's called a Habiton it's only a study it's not even a prototype but uh, what's clever about that um, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's go and see what's clever about that. So but remember this little car here on a Renault? We'll go and see what's clever about that. But on the way and seeing what's clever about that, let's have a look at one or two other things which are quite clever. Here we've got this Plyus C530. That's like a car as well, isn't it really? It's, uh, you want to call it a van? Okay, call it a van if you want. Uh, but what's clever about this is the following. There, inside, there is a toilet and for a vehicle of this size that is quite clever in my opinion now uh, this thing here as you can see is on a Renault basis as well uh, why is it on a Renault basis because Renault are available it could have been on the Ford Transit Custom as well but what the Renault offers is it's a bit it's a bit wider actually this is 548 by 196 centimeters so it doesn't quite qualify for my version of a tiny camper tiny in my book has to be under 540 but actually it's 541 to be specific but that's the way i sort of do it this thing is going to cost 76,000 euros but uh, anyway other than this uh, toilet it's got in there, it's handy, you can use the toilet and you can get into the fridge at the same time so you, uh, you don't have to worry too much about uh, your, your, um, what you're coming out the, that comes out the fridge and then straight into the toilet directly, so that's, uh, that's very clever. You've got storage at the back which is cleverer than most uh, vehicles of this nature. What they're trying to do putting in six seats is beyond me, sorry six, five, what am I saying? Uh, well, I don't know if I can count that as a seat or not. Well, that's all to say. The thing is this, uh, putting the reverse, these seats here at the back, that's, you need that to put a bed in, in a way. I really think it's going over the top on the seating front. I mean, how are you supposed to get through there? Unless you're a snake or something, or a rabbit, maybe you could get through. But uh, if you're a rabbit, you might have difficulty jumping up onto the chair. Maybe for a dachshund, it might work. Anyway, that is... Uh, that's this one. I'll do a longer video on it. Now this van here, uh, this Liceo, uh, is pretty clever. Now this thing here is going to cost about 120,000, if I remember right, 127,000, I remember it incorrectly. 736 centimetres long. But what this has got is a really nice rear lounge. And isn't that cute? Uh, and another thing about this rear lounge is this. This table here, it's what well, it looks like a sideboard, doesn't it really? But it comes out. I'll oh, be careful because that's a that's glass. I was daft to use glass as a a uh, um, a decoration at an event. But anyway, that's that comes out. I wonder how long that glass is going to survive. Let's see if it's still here in a week's time. And uh, so you've got the bed it drops down. And uh, this I, I find, they have done uh, things like this in the past, but I think this is, it, it's quite welcoming. One of the problems though is the bed above uh, doesn't leave a lot of room. So that, if I'm walking around in there, and it sort of does a bit impinge on my head tight. But if you say like 170 centimeters, uh, you shouldn't have any problems there. Uh, also, look at this. This is a shower. You might have seen one of these before. This shower has got no plug hole. That's not clever. <laughs> Water goes out through there. Very original. Let's come out and uh, have a look at something else. So now um, I'll show you this thing here, this Burstner Delphin C621. What I think about this, uh, again, it's on the Renault uh, basis. It's got lengthwise uh, beds at the back and the way it's laid out, 76,000 it's gonna cost. But I think the way it's laid out, it's really quite original in the way that it's done and the way that the space is used. So that is another thing I find uh, quite attractive. Uh, 
it wouldn't suit me but I wouldn't I'd, I'd rather just have a widthwise bed but I mean uh, I'm re reporting here on what's uh, uh, clever now this here Lineo C550 uh, it's on a forward basis and uh, this uh, it is really it's another thing it can't you could say it's a tiny camper but look you can stand up inside plenty of head height We've got widthwise bed at the back we've got a proper toilet and washroom a shower with big domestic plugs down there we've got uh okay kitchen with two hobs uh, storage we've got the fridge down here this is very compact but it's got a huge amount of space you can park this just about any anywhere now uh, when I get excited about things there's certain things that I want now not everybody's the same I want to have a toilet I want to have a shower those two things to me are supremely important in order to be self-contained and uh, that is what I'm looking for. Other things I'm looking for is ease of driving, ease of parking. And this, I think, offers that. Look at that, 553 by 206. Mind you, five sleeping places. That's optional, by the way. But that is just ridiculous. Five sleeping places in, in a, a vehicle with, uh, what, 11 square meters, including the engine, uh, is a, a floor space. That's absurd. But for two people, that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, another problem with all this extra um, bed space is this. You've got to carry the stuff around to make the bed space. Well, that's just one bed, and it's already taken up half of the boot. So that really doesn't... Uh, that's not such a, a good idea, in my opinion. Right, uh, let's have a walk around what else uh, we can see here. Now, many of these vehicles have been filmed in the past, but I shall show you them again. Um, in uh, future videos I'll do them in more detail Campio C540 4x4 I think this was brought out in 2019 if I remember rightly and uh, again it's a tiny fl floor space it's got four uh, uh, sorry it's got, it's, it's got two sleeping places uh, it's got four off road uh, we've got this very similar washroom to what we saw in the Ford this is on the Citroen basis but the washroom's not quite so good because it's only got one tiny uh, um, uh, uh, drainage. I really think the drainage is really important because it, it tends to get uh, um, blocked. Uh, particularly if you're off-road, you know, probably in lots of places where uh, there's lots of sand and stuff like this. We'll have a look on this thing here, the uh, li Limited T660. This is a more, I said I was doing innovations. Well, this is more of an old fashioned van in my opinion. So it's got a lot of head space though. See all the space around you up here and see all this wasted space up here. That's not, that, that's not in innovative, that's uh, that's uh, that's what they've been doing for years. And look at this washroom. Yeah, lovely and bright. And the shower area. It's it's enormous. Um, right, let's open this if I can. And to reveal, there's your toilet. And there, see that you've got a here. There's a that's a magnet. And see. So I need a bit more force to pull that away. Isn't that great? That 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 really appeals to me. I've got another bed up there, but it's got plenty of headspace below it. So um, let's uh, let's move on to other things now. Um, Last year, uh, Bursner brought out this thing here called the gallery. So what it's got here is that bit it, the, that sort of lifts up and got this really interesting um, material. I don't think that's the right word. Well, it is a material, isn't it? So, uh, but it's insulated. It's made by a company called Exclu in Latvia. 
and it is it's got thermal properties i've been incredibly impressed by it because i was when i first saw it oh what happens if you've got a bit of sand in that and it'll start it'll uh, rub on the uh and, and make a hole and then the air will all go out. it doesn't matter the air's independent and they tell me well he's actually told me that uh it, 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 even you puncture it uh, okay, the bits punctured won't be much good afterwards, it'll have to be repaired, but the rest of it won't be actually affected. And the thing is, when I first saw it, I thought, oh yeah, so I start finding potential problems with it. But okay, it's not as good as a uh, maybe a uh, normal uh, body uh, as far as uh, toughness is concerned. But look what it does, it gives you all that extra space, it gives you an entire new room at the top of the vehicle and it's insulated and it is uh, it's got it's heated at the top if you, if you if you get cold so that i think is a uh, it, it's it's really impressive as uh as a, a solution in my opinion now next thing i want to show you is this that is Lizio TD684G lounge, but look at that, what it's got there. That is an air uh, slide out, a slide out in a motorhome of this size. Uh, outstanding. Uh, that is the first type, I think it's manufactured uh, by Exclu, I don't know. I think it's only a prototype, but uh, so the in, it appears to be insulated. So it is insulated because I, try, I tried it out. And what it does is that can come out. You can have a couch in there or something. Gives you more room for a television. Alternatively, you can put a bed in there. And that gives you uh, the lengthwise bed. You've got a rear um, washroom in there. That is a very impressive uh, piece of kit and, and uh, you'll have to see that in a different video because look there's a queue to get in and uh, so I'm not going to actually get into it but uh, anyway it does say up there it's that word there Unverkauflich Studie that means it's a studie study a project and proto not even a prototype but Unverkauflich it's not for sale anyway so but it's what is good is that Burstner has brought out and there's the, there's the managing director and the head of design. And uh, they have brought out an electric van here as well. But uh, showed the Victor van last year, but I'll do a longer video. And now, can you remember what I started out with was the car? And so here it is. There's that car, and this is what it does. As you can see, the um, roof comes over backwards, opens up, and it's got this tent in the roof. And those supports on the tent, that is air. But um, now in this case, I don't know how quickly it actually blows up uh, because I haven't seen it. But I've seen other examples, for example, Gentle Tent, and they, it blows up really, really quickly. So inside, they've put another bird sleeps for, this obviously, this tent here is just a, um, a, uh, that's an option now this again this is only a study it's a project but the thing is this last year they had the electric um, camper van fully electric Ford camper van here and now as I understand it they're bringing it out for sale there is an electric motorhome here uh, which I'm gonna have to show you this in, but not from Bosnia uh, from Iridium, which I'm going to have to show you in a different video. But uh, this, I would say, as far as I'm concerned, uh, for, for this year, the most exciting innovations that I've seen so far. There may be something else I haven't seen, but I would give my award for this year to uh, Bosner for what they've done here. So, um, I'll try and upload next few days other videos showing uh, other uh, innovations and then later I'll go into the more detail in, in, on individual motorhomes. But I wasn't expecting to see anything this year which I thought was going to be really, really interesting and uh, 
Yes, but I have done so. So here we've got the slide out, which I think is great. The fact that this gallery is still, still coming out. Well, it brought it out last year, but it's still, still here. I think that's great. I think that looks really, really good. Uh, I like the fact they put a toilet in the tiny van, so that makes it a camper van instead of a car. And uh, in my, to my way of thinking, okay, that car with that Renault car with the uh, tent on the roof, I think that's just daft. But um, uh, that's me. Um, I, I don't understand the market for it. So, um, they, they tell me, oh, it's for younger people. I say, yeah, but younger people can't afford it, can they? And if they could afford it, why wouldn't they get a, I don't know, a 10 year old normal uh, motorhome, which would cost the same, but would have so many more possibilities. Of course, a car, you can't put a car in an underground garage. You can't put this in an underground garage. Uh, you can't park it so easily. But hey, you can sleep in that, you can shower in that, and you can use the toilet in that, which you can't do, uh, well, you can't do the second two in the car. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what I think. So tell me what you think. If you like that, this or not, put your uh, put opinions below. Thanks for watching, and all the best from me, Caravan Salon. Dusseldorf.